Hello friends, welcome to the physics world. In this video we are going to learn about simple electric circuits. Before going deep into the topic, I would like to ask one question to the viewers. Can you please tell me where do we find electric circuits? Well yes, the answer is electric circuits are fine wherever there is an electric appliances. Electric appliances like torch light, bulb or a TV, they all work if they are properly connected in an electric circuit. In fact, they are, they are all part of an electric circuit. Electric circuit needs components, not only that, they all have to be arranged properly in a particular direction, then only the electric circuit works. Let us take an example of torch light. Torch light also has an electric circuit. You all know what do torch light consist of. Torch light has a small bulb and a battery. In a torch light, the batteries have to be arranged properly in a particular direction so that the bulb glows. So from this example, it is clear that electric circuit has components and all the components have to be arranged properly in a particular direction so that the electric circuit gets complete and the electric appliances starts working. So now we will discuss about the various components of electric circuit. The first one is battery. The cell consists of metallic cylinder. The heaviness of the cell tells us that there is a chemical present inside the cell. The protrusion at one end of the cell is due to the carbon rod at its center. At the top of the cell, metal cap is fixed. The entire can is sealed. Now I have a question for you all. Have you all seen positive and negative sign on the cell? Well, yes. The two signs indicates the two terminals of the cell. Okay, that was about the battery. Now we are going to discuss about the bulb. The bulb consists of two metal wires. The two metal wires are connected to the two terminals below the metal base. And the two metal wires start acting like a terminals. They do not touch each other. The part of the bulb that glows is filament. The fi filament which is made of thin spring like wire. It is attached to the two thin metal wires and it is present inside the bulb. With this we have finished about the components of the simple electric circuit. In the next video we will see how to make simple electric circuit. Simple electric circuit consists of four different colored wires. Red, green, yellow, red, blue. Each wire is about 15 centimeter long. The electric wires are usually covered with a plastic. Remove 2 cm of plastic from both the ends of each wire and try to make connections like this. Blue and green are connected to the bulb. Yellow and red is connected to the battery. Now let us see how does an electric circuit works. Electric circuit consists of different parts, bulb, connecting wires and a cell. The electric circuit provides a closed path for the electricity to flow. You might have observed in your houses, when electricity is available, some bulb glows and some does not glow. What could be the reason for that? Though the electricity is available, some bulbs are glowing and some bulbs doesn't glow. Observe the bulb which does not glow. The bulb which does not glow is said to be a fused bulb. Connect the fused bulb in a circuit. The uh, circuit still remains open and does not allow the electricity to flow. Okay, now I have an activity for you all. Observe the different kinds of circuit and different types of connections. And try to guess your answers. Well, yes. Uh, you can see that in figure 1, the bulb does not glow. Figure 2, the bulb doesn't glow. Figure 3, no. 
figure 4 yes the bulb glows because it has a complete circuit as you can see all the connections are properly made here but if you observe this figure 1 here it is open second one open third one also open and fifth here also it is open so bulb doesn't glow sixth no switches are used to turn on turn on or turn off the torch light similarly we use various switches in our houses to turn on fan tubes bulbs etc now we will see how electric circuit uh, electric switch works electric switch connect the circuit as shown insert drawing pins at a and b insert the safety pin between a and b insert the safety pin in such a way that one end of the safety pin is in complete contact with the pin b and the other end is set free observe the bulb what do you notice the bulb does not glow now connect this free end of the safety pin to the drawing pin a and now observe the bulb again does the bulb glow yes why don't the bulb glows when the safety pin is left free at one of its end in this activity safety pin is used to open or close the circuit let the safety pin be used as switch when we switch on electricity flows and the bulb glows when we off the switch electricity cuts off and the bulb does not glow switch is used to allow the electricity or to cut off the electricity the flow of electricity in a closed circuit is called current let us learn about the internal parts of torch take a torch and observe its internal parts the parts of torch are hollow cylindrical barrel cells bulb glass chamber and metallic spring the hollow cylindrical barrel consists of cells and a lid with a screw which can be opened and closed when the lid is closed and the switch is on the circuit gets completed electricity starts flowing and the bulb glows let us learn about conductors and insulators the substances which allow the electricity to flow through them are called as conductors and the substances which do not allow the electricity to flow through them are known as insulators let us see the examples of conductors and insulators used in our daily life conductors hair clip safety pin metal bangle nail insulators match stick graphite plastic scale eraser paper identifying insulators and conductors use the circuit which you have used in your previous activity remove the safety pin so that you have two open terminals with you insert different objects and record your observations example take a hair clip insert between pin a and b observe the bulb is the bulb glowing yes now remove the hair clip and insert eraser does the bulb glow no here i have list of objects object hair pin name of the material metal does the bulb glow yes object pencil lead name of the material graphite does the bulb glow no object eraser name of the material rubber does the bulb glow no object plastic scale name of the material plastic does the bulb glow no object match stick name of the material wood does the bulb glow no object iron nail name of the material metal does the bulb glow yes let us learn about the story of bulb the story of invention of bulb is very interesting 
we may think that bulb is a very simple gadget just press a switch and it lights up but do you know many scientists worked hard for many years before the first successful bulb was made one of them is thomas alva edison thomas alva edison who ultimately succeeded in making the first bulb today we use the same kind of bulb as was first made by him the only difference in our bulb is the filament is made of a metal called tungsten by this we come to conclusion of our topic electric circuits